Hello everybody! I would like to give an update on my spikes. Orchids uh, currently in spike this season. So definitely this time there's a lot of um, orchids that I currently have in my collection that are just bursting with life, you know? They just keep on growing and of course giving off blooms and spikes, buds and you know, you know what I mean. So these are currently my um, what I have in bloom as you would remember from my previous um, uh, time-lapse videos. So you know the eye candy which is this one of course I really like the the new bud the new flower so this is the latest flower that just uh, recently opened okay all right so I'm so in love with this because it's so easy to grow it just keeps on blooming all right and then of course this uh, modier type vinicolor um, oh my god that uh, papio pedalum yeah so I really like this one because of the uh, the the veins on the bucket see you could see the veins they're so intricate in the hairs in the warts, in the uh, striations, the lines on the uh, top petal. Really love that. And of course, my garbage orchid. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So this is the uh, the rescue phalaenopsis that I just recently uh, rebloomed from an old spike, as you can see here. So I really like the flower on this one too. And of course, it's uh, fragrant. So I really like it. It's spicy and sweet at the same time. So I really like those flowers that has that spicy, sweet smell. And uh, as you can see, this pot doesn't even have holes in it. But once I just fill it up like a centimeter of water, I'm done with it. And then it just keeps on hydrating the plant. And that's good for like a week or so. So... I don't really have to think about it. It's very easy to uh, take care of this way. So ever since I had pots with no holes in them, I don't really have to think about, it's like semi-hydro uh, culture, wherein you have water all the time pretty much, but this time I actually let it dry up a little bit before I actually water it. So they're kind of sitting in water, and then I just let them be, uh, let them dry a little bit so these don't have holes the pots on this don't have holes and they just keeps getting hydrated so you could see there so you could see uh, some uh, condensation here going on there but uh, actually that's a good thing because i don't have to water it and that's pretty much it for these guys so i also oh, by the way so this is a spike update so i just want to start off with the uh um, with the Phalaenopsis currently in bud so this is a uh, one of my um, grocery Phalaenopsis I would think and I remember this one is yellow and red so hopefully I would be able to show you soon maybe make a time lapse and uh, yeah as you could see at the back a lot of um, growth going on there because there's a new um, um, oncidium growth there and it's just putting out some new roots there so I'm really excited with that one I think that's the oncidium sweet sugar and of course the sherry baby it's just putting out a lot of growths again it's almost like grass now um, the twinkle is you know just done blooming so I cut off the uh, the dried up uh, spikes so that's fine and of course I'm really excited with this one this is a Latoria type dendrobium and perhaps you would know it it's the um, let me see the tag it's the uh, little green apples as you can see there so that's exciting too right and this is a uh, Brassabola nodosa hybrid uh, Brassavola little stars as I would remember so it's in spike uh, one and then there's another one here 
All right, so I'm very excited with those guys. So that's pretty much it on this side. And let me see. So if we go up here, there you go. You could see one of my uh, oncidium types. This is a Meltonidium Goliath Spire. And you could see it's definitely a, a very long spire of a, of a spike. Yeah, it's up there and it's really going or going or going up. Yeah, it's almost like how like three feet if you stretch it out. So I'm very excited with that one too. Gonna give an update on that once it blooms. And the Mastivalia that's on like break, they don't it doesn't have a um what do you call that? Uh, flowers right now but they're about to bloom again see well it's really hard to see but uh, but let me just Oopsie. yep there you go there's still like growth going on with its four four spikes as you can see from the tips and they're still about to bloom so there's they're very sequential and like very dependable that way they just keeps on blooming so i'm also doing a semi hydro type of you know the lazy way of watering it's just even like in in styrofoam see and there's water at the bottom and then it's completely covered with uh some plastic on the top so the water won't escape and also of course maintain the humidity around the roots so i don't have to water it every time because these plants kind of like water a lot they don't like to dry out definitely of course here in my uh, humidity tent i have the uh, humidity hungry uh, orchids and plants and here's the tetraspis and also the graspis and the um the spike on this one keeps on just growing and i think it would give a flower soon again i remember i just gave a an update on that one of course some of my mini phalaenopsis out there in spike again all right so that's exciting i'm gonna uh, update on that too. and this this is an old spike dip that is still growing it's still elongating so definitely it would give me um, uh, new flowers soon and then down here not really much going on here but some of these are the bandacious um, orchids that I have of course Neophenicia uh, and then there's a Vanda there and then this Neophenicia hybrid Lucinary new stylus and this walkeriana and that walkeriana and then some of the uh, dendrobium uh, bigibum bigibum hybrids of course that's the um, the uh, yellow bird and they're still growing this pretty much on this side are just growing and uh, hopefully I would they would give me blooms in the future oh by the way remember the uh hara ella odorata yeah the recently bloom of course the the flower is gone now but as you can see there are two new buds again one and two i guess they're sequential they just keep some blooming blooming on the same spike and some of the spikes die out some of the spikes just keep some blooming so yeah it's very exciting and last one last thing to show you is the next time lapse video the continuation of the uh, bulb film time lapse i should show you let me just quickly show you what's going on here you could see here the Lodicea this color is in full bloom 
okay, in full bloom uh, mode. So you can see there's so many spikes right now that are starting to open, starting to bloom. And of course, that's the bulb of film in the middle, the one with the fan and the Jaho, Phalaenopsis uh, Jaho's pink girl is uh, has two buds open. And of course, the uh, the purple, deep, deep purple Phalaenopsis at the back. So yeah, that's very exciting. I'm gonna like finish the um, time lapse videos on the Ludicia Discolor. The, this one, the um, jewel orchid, very soon. So, yeah, watch out for that. So, of course, you know my setup. I just have like a smartphone here taking pictures. So, I'm very excited with that. And, of course, you know, the lazy method, the swamp method is still in use while they're blooming. Because, of course, you don't want them to dry out. All right, so thank you for watching this episode. Hopefully you watch out for my, um, you know, succeeding episodes. Probably a couple of days I will be able to uh, upload this time lapse video for the continuation for the bulb of film. And and again, of course, happy growing to all my orchid growers, orchid growing friends. <laughs> all right, bye bye.